बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम वेलकम टू माई चैनल लर्न मैथ विथ सैयद अली टूडे वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग अवर टॉपिक एंगल प्रॉपर्टीज इन अ ट्राइंगल फॉर ग्रेड एट सो वी हैव टू क्वेश्चन हेयर मे बी आई विल इट्स नॉट दैट क्लियर बट आई विल रीड इट फॉर यू इन द ग्रीन सो द क्वेश्चन वन हेयर इज सारा वॉन्ट्स टू मेक अ रेगुलर पेंटागॉन with isosceles triangles what are the measure in each triangle what are the measures in each triangle we know that isosceles triangle is the triangle which has got exactly two equal sides so these two sides are equal right so this angle is called the vertex angle and these two angles are called the base angle so for isosceles triangle we know that this property right so i will write it in in another color this is my vertex angle vertex angle right and these these two are my base angle so anyway we are not dealing with the isosceles triangle here we are dealing with the that sara wants to make a regular pentagon so if she want to make a pentagon in where she want to have isosceles triangle we learn in the last video that we can make number of the triangles right in any pentagon and then we count them how many triangles we can make or we have developed a formula so my pentagon or sara will make this pentagon like this 1 2 3 4 and 5 and what she is looking for she is looking for a regular pentagon and question is asking that what are the measures in each triangle so first of all we have to develop all of my triangles which are which are isosceles right these are my triangles so sides are like this 1 2 3 4 5 you can draw in any shape but like it's a rough sketch for pentagon which has got One, two, three, four, five triangles, and Sara wants these triangles to be isosceles. Isosceles means two sides are equal, right? And now she wants to find out the angles in each triangle, right? We learned in the last video that in any pentagon, in any uh, pentagon, right? Polygon, sorry, uh, you can find out the no angle of the interior angle right interior angle so that the formula was 360 divided by the number of the side in the polygon we put s for the number of the sides sometimes some textbook shows s or n right so it doesn't matter you need to understand the concept so 360 divided by number of the sides are 5 in a pentagon so you divide and then you have 72 degree this 72 degree is called vertex angle so we have vertex angle of pentagon so how would you calculate a vertex angle 360 divided by number of the sides right so we have 72 degree now we have to find out the base angle because we have to find out all three angles he is saying what are the measures in each triangle right so next to calculate is base angle which is equals to what we did this in the last video formula you have to remember 182 180 that is sum of the angles interior angles on any triangle minus 72 right minus 72 divided by 2 so 180 minus 72 divided by 2 that becomes 54 right because the angles will be equal so i divided by 2 sum of the all angles of a triangle is 180 180 -72 gives me uh, twice two angles sum of the two angles but these two angles are equal the base angles are equal so we divided by 2 right so we got 54 uh, so the measure of the angles are so i can write it here for you the measure of angles are 72 degree comma 54 degree 
and 54 degrees. If you add all these three, that will turns back to 180. That is some of the interior angles of any triangle, right? Now we go to the second question and see what does it say. Second question here says, the measure of angles in a triangle are in the ratio of 1 is to 3 is to 6. Find the measures of the angles, right? So here we have to suppose the smaller angle be x, right? Let the measure of the smallest angle angle be x. So that is one ratio, right? That is one. That is the smaller, smallest. So we suppose that if one is x, then the other angle should be 3x and 6x because these are in a ratio. So if we add all these angles, so other angles will be other angles will be 3x and 6x. And what we know from this chapter? We know that sum of all the angles of the triangle becomes equals to 180. So if my one angle is x, other angle is 3x, third angle is 6x, their sum will be 180. This much we know. So we add them up, 6x plus 3x, 9x plus 1x, 10x. So 10x is equals to 180. So x is equals to, we have to divide both sides of the equation by 10 to get rid of 10 from x. So we isolate x, therefore x is equals to 18 degree. So x is 18 degree. Now we have the ratio. What is the next angle? 3x. So 3 times x is 3 times 18, which is 54. And 6 times x is 6 times 18, which is 108. So my angles are, so measurement of angles are, what do we find out? Angles are? Three angles, right? 18 degree, 54 degree, and 108 degree. Again, if you add them all up, it becomes 180. Sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180. So we solved this way, both of the questions. These two questions are like a assignment or text, test questions. So be mindful, be careful. And just remind uh, again over again your definitions and the rules for the interior angles. Um, I would have uh, another question here in this chapter, in this, on this topic. So that one is sent by one of my eighth grader. And the question is the vertex, question number three. The vertex angle in an isosceles triangle, isosceles triangle, right? This is my isosceles triangle, is y, y degree. If measurement, if measure of each base angle, each base angle is four times the vertex, four times the vertex, what are the measure of each angles? What are the measure of angles. So, here if you read the question, it is easy, but you have to think that this is an isosceles triangle where y is the angle, right? Is a vertex angle. And you know what vertex angle is. We define it in the first question. This is my vertex angle, right? This is my y. And these are my base angles, right? 
and this is isosceles triangle correct so what question is saying question is saying that my vertex is y this is y and the measure of each base angle the measure of each base angle is four times the vertex so that means these angles are 4y base angle 4y so what you know we know from the chapter or this lesson that sum of all the interior angles of any triangle is equals to what 180 good so what are the angles y 4y and 4y so all together is 180 and then i add them up 4y 4y 8y plus 1y is 9y so 9y is equals to 180 so y is equals to 20 degree so if i know my y then i can find out my 4y so 4y or the base angle will be base angle is equals to 4 times 20 which is equals to 80 so the angles are so measure always explain things that what you have find out so you have find out that measure of three angles in this isosceles triangle isosceles triangle are 20 degree 80 degree and 80 degree if you sum all these three angles you get 180 again so this is how we practice our angle properties in a triangle and we will have some more videos on the same topic um, hope you like the video if you like it subscribe to my channel press the bell icon button to receive another video thank you for watching